Hey, what is going on everyone and welcome to Flutterly. I'm Wicked and if you've come to a point in learning Flutter when everyone is talking about state management, well, if you were like me as a beginner, you would be literally overwhelmed by how many libraries of managing state exist. But hey, I've already been through this, trying to look for the best one, but after many days of trying most of them, I found that there is no best one. It's the one that fits you and your team the best. In this video series, I'm not going to discuss why Block is the best state management solution, but rather why I absolutely love it and why it's not as difficult as it may seem at first glance. <laughs> Funny enough, I was even afraid of trying Block at first, noticing how many people were complaining that it comes with too much boilerplate. It may seem pretty difficult at first, and you'll need to get familiar with some concepts and aspects of block. But hey, that's why I'm here for you, to guide you throughout this course. In this video series, we'll be going step by step, learning not only by hearing block concepts, but most of the time by practicing and applying them in different real app scenarios, starting off with the most simple ones, like the well-known counter and weather app, and finishing with more complex ones which require communication with Firebase. So, without further ado, buckle up because we'll be getting into the first tutorial of this Block series, in which you'll meet the creator of Block, understand the concept, and you'll certainly receive the answer to why Block question. Until next time, get your mind ready and take care. Wicked is out. See ya.